Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So we are at the beginning of December and we have the monthly Oracle card guidance. We have three options here we're using. The first option is the Chinese Oracle um, deck and then we have the Wild Offering Oracle and we have the Magical Unicorns Oracle card deck. Okay, so go ahead, make a selection, uh, either one, two or three, and we can get into the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the Chinese Oracle, the option number one, we're asking basically, what can we expect for the month of December? What can we expect in this month? And what can we look forward to? And what kind of guidance can we get for this month? I'm going to go ahead and pick four cards to tell us what we can expect and what we need to know. So for those of you who've chosen the first option, your monthly Oracle card guidance for December 2022 is the tiger, the ox, the dog and the monkey. So there's it's almost like you are at a juncture where you're not feeling uh, as energetic or as alive or as um, as powerful as you usually do. It might be that you're quite exhausted or it might be that you're simply just needing a little bit of encouragement or some kind of inspiration, just something to nudge you on. And I feel that in the first week of December, in this week here, um, the next seven to eight days at least, that you're going to find that um, you will, you might be confronted with opportunities to be, to be strong. Okay, you might be give you might find yourself in situations where you don't have a choice but to be stronger or to be more alert or to be more productive um, or to be more hands-on, okay? So it's almost like you being forced to be something that you don't feel comfortable doing. And it uh, it might be that you, you're completely good at whatever you are made to do, but it's just that you just have perhaps gotten into a bit of a rut or you're just feeling like... Um, closing up inside of you and you're feeling like having a bit of quiet time but there's this energy that kind of draws you out and says okay well let's confront this let's work with this okay and so I feel that the first week of December is going to be very much about you looking into the mirror and seeing yourself for uh, something much much greater than what you're accustomed to uh, and also being able to understand the power that you truly have as an individual I feel like the, the first week is really about empowering yourself and maybe maybe it's not like that you want to retreat maybe you just feel a bit tired and so you just don't have the energy as you, that you normally have so here it's like you are trying to um, well you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you you're able to find that courage within yourself and I would suggest that um, well you could look at yourself <laughs> look at yourself into in, in the mirror and, and give yourself a pep talk if you like but you could perhaps do a meditation or you could do some kind of exercises which will give you a kind of boost of energy or you could just remind yourself of some of the successes that you've had and some of the the, the capabilities that you have that has gotten you to this point. Now I feel as we get to the second week of the month you're going to find yourself quite um um, well, I want to say perhaps intoxicated. You might find yourself a little bit um, um, drunk with some kind of energy. You might find yourself being um, a little whimsical or in some cases, if it's not that, if you don't, if you're not feeling whimsical, it, you might just uh, find yourself kind of um, uh, not in control of yourself. You just not don't. You're not as as grounded as you you usually are. And I would say that uh, the guidance there is to be able to ground yourself. Is to be able to uh, take some time out where you have a bit of quiet time for yourself, and where you are able to do something that is worthy for yourself. Now I want to say, the, the what I'm hearing more and more 
here with the ox with the second week is that you really need to be good to yourself. You know, you really need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself before you're taking care of others, because it's almost like you might slip or you might um, find yourself just not in uh, as much control. You might find yourself in a in some degree of stress and you might find that you it's just it just gets overwhelming for you or you or you find that um, you are in uh, above your head with regard to whatever you're dealing with. So I feel that on the third week, things kind of quietened down. And uh, for some of you, well, you will be having um, uh, people around you, perhaps family, uh, who who you feel quite loyal to, or people who you feel like uh, quite safe with, or pe perhaps people that you trust. Um, if you aren't feeling that in, in your third week, then I would say that uh, it's important to be able to find out what aspect of those people that you surround yourself with in that third week, um, what aspect of them can you trust and focus on that rather than focusing on what you can't trust or what you what you perhaps resent or despise or perhaps what you not comfortable with. Okay, so in the third week of, of December, it's um, it's almost like there's a quieting down there's a softness, there's an ability to be able to give the other person a benefit of the doubt. Uh, of, of a, yeah, it's, it's about being more generous in, in your heart towards another, regardless of what your experiences were with this, these people or this person before. Uh, and it's just about quieting down. I feel there's a very quietened down energy here where there is... Um, a lot of love that can come through if you if you let it, if you choose to let it. Now, I feel also there might be some kind of anger that's underneath all of this. And um, it's an opportunity for you to be able to heal that. And and, and also just to remember that that anger is hurting you. Um, you are the harborer of that anger and it hurts you regardless of what actions may have been committed that caused you that anger. All right. And um, I just want to say here as well, uh, if you are spending time alone, if you are not going to be with anyone around the time uh, of uh, on the third week of December, then I feel like you need to have a loyalty to yourself and a, a kindness to yourself. You need to be kind. You need to be loyal. You need to be good to yourself. So make some effort in that regard. Um, do something that really makes you feel good and really makes you feel in touch with yourself and connect to yourself, uh, connect to your higher self, to connect to your spirit and, and connect to the, the spirit of those who are loyal to you. All right. And then for the um, last week of uh, December, we have the monkey here. And I feel that um, this is a card where you are going to be looking forward to uh, a lot. There's this anticipation. There's almost like this excitement about what can be. There's a sense of um, of a, a newness that can be. But there's almost a, like there's I, I get there's kind of mischievousness about it as well. Um, so I don't know if you will be playing a prank on someone or perhaps you are uh, reconsidering a particular path or direction and you want to go in, in a path or direction where there's just a lot more fun, a lot more laughter, a lot more lightness of being. And I just feel that there's a new beginning for you. Well, we have the new year at the end of that of that uh, week. But there's almost like a new beginning for you. So some of you may be starting off in a new job or maybe moving to a new home. Um, and at the same time, it's almost like you're beginning a new and you're excited about that. There's a playfulness about it. And I feel that in that last week, there's going to be a lot of that. There's a lot of this playfulness. I also feel like um, as you as you do that, as you move ahead, you you find something that you've been yearning for, that you've been, um, that you've been almost saving up for, or you've been investing in an idea, a fantasy, perhaps, um, a way of moving ahead. You, you have something to look forward to in the in the that in at the end of the month, and something that you can really, um, really begin to dream again about, and and 
create a whole new reality around. So that that's really fun and that's really um positive, I would say. So I hope for those of you who've chosen the option number one, that you have a wonderful December. And for those of you who are celebrating Christmas and Hanukkah and the solstice and um, yeah, um, many blessings and well wishes for you and um, all the, the holidays that you'll be having. And for those of you who are not celebrating anything as well, uh, may you have a blessed December and may it be peaceful and lovely and may you find yourself in good health. Okay, blessings abound from Kismet Rising. For those of you who've chosen the second option, we have the Wild Offering Oracle. Let me asking, what does December 2022 have to offer us? What should be we be aware of? And what can we expect? What can we prepare for in this month? So for those of you who've chosen the second option uh, for December 2022, we have the cards Intention, Spaciousness, Ambition and Love. And I'm going to go ahead and read what's on the card for you. So the first card Intention, which is um, I've laid out these four cards for the four weeks of December. And um, we have um, Intention is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intention is that all God's wishes for me come true. So I would say that for the first week of December, what is required for you is to be uh, uh, very clear about what it is that you want and what it is that uh, you're expecting in your life. Not to be in two minds about it or not to entertain uncertainty, to be quite decisive about what it is that you desire um, because as you think the thought, as you um, embody that in you, what's happening is that the universe is working to uh, create that for you. And so if you are thinking about things and you are quite um, um, apprehensive about your future, then the universe is going to kind of align itself uh, to create that apprehension that which is that picture of apprehension for you and so i feel that uh, this week well what they are saying quite clearly here is for you to be able to set your intention for the month ahead and i would say also for perhaps the year ahead or even for longer you know set an intention for now for this month or this week and set an intention for um the, ne the following year as well as for the next five years or 10 years. And um, I think that if you're the more clearer you get about what it is that you desire, the more likely it is to come to fruition and the more easier it, it's likely to come to fruition. And we, I guess we can all do with a bit of that, couldn't we? And so um, I would say also that in this, when you are setting this intention for your week ahead in in December your first the first week of December I would say that it's important to think about uh, what is it that you would like and how and regardless of how you would be able to achieve it uh, and not limit yourself and, and not think okay well I guess you know I will settle for this for x y and z because I could never have a b and c and I think that, um, you know, give yourself a chance to dream about 
what it is that you truly desire, um, you don't always have to know for sure whether that is where you'll end off. You know, sometimes you can start off with quite a lot of uncertainty, but you can, if it's truly what you desire, then go for it and, and give yourself a chance to be able to believe in it, even though you might have uh, become disillusioned along the way due to how difficult your circumstances might be. Um, I would say also for the first week of December, if you don't have a particular intention, if um, there's nothing really that grabs you, if life is going along beautifully and you're just grateful and happy for what you have, then um, perhaps focus on that. Focus on that gratitude. Focus on um, on that uh, that aspect of you, which is the best that you can be, um, which is the, the highest that you can be. Focus on on um on on that part of you which is the closest to the universal energy or to god or however you like to define that and um i would say that um yeah that that's i think the what is required from the first week i think the first week of december for you um, it's going to be very much about prayer. It's going to be very much about that stillness in you and meditation and visualization, manifestation, um, being clear about who you are and what you uh, require going forward and, um, and less about how you are going to be able to achieve that. Okay, so I think then for the week two, we have this card called spaciousness and I'm going to read the caption here. It says, what you do, what, sorry, what do I no longer need? Help me, God, to release whatever people, places or things drain my vital essence. Show me what will fulfill me with enthusiasm and joy. Okay, so I feel like um, this perhaps comes from um, a degree of anxiety that you might have with regard to having to spend time with people that don't necessarily align with your values. It might be that they are family and so you are you you understand that there's a, some degree of obligation or you feel that perhaps there's an obligation and um, even if there isn't and um, you you kind of put yourself in a compromising situation because um, because of that because of that factor, that obligation factor. And I feel here that this can be remedied with giving yourself as much space and room as you require to be able to look after yourself, to be able to um, ensure that your needs are being taken care of, that you are able to wash away whatever residual um, negative energies that may crowd upon you when you are in the context of someone else, not necessarily because they are unpleasant or something like this, but simply because of your own experience of that person. And so I think giving yourself the space to be able to um, to look after yourself and to be able to care for yourself is um, is a, a really important part of this because you can't always just cut off people from your life. In fact, um, in this current day and age, uh, cutting off people or cancelling people is seen to be a thing that's quite um, common and that's because we are less reliant on each other. We are quite independent, but um, that is not going to really find, uh, not not going to really be a solution, uh, because it stunts your opportunity to grow within a particular situation. So I would say that um, if you are encountering some degree of uh, frustration, anxiety, um, um, kind of irritation, even, then give yourself the the space that you need, maybe, you know, take yourself off for a swim or to the sauna or to, um, to, you know, for a walk on the beach or if you are close to a beach, that is, uh, or, or a forest or just take yourself somewhere out of where you are to be able to commune with nature as much as you can, if you can, if that's possible, because that's going to allow you to just regenerate yourself and give yourself that flow and that energy that you need. It's going to be able to give you a chance to wash away um, anything that's um, that's hurting you in whichever way it could be. So that's your for your week uh, two in December 2022. And then in the third week, we have the card ambition. And um, 
It reads, May I offer all my deepest longings to love itself and invite a divine plan beyond the mind's imagining. Please use me for the highest good. Okay, so I love this card and I love what it says. Um, and it's in, I feel in, in quite a contrast to what you might be experiencing in the first week of, of uh, December, uh, which is, you know, manually state your intentions. Here it's about, okay, I'm really ambitious, but not in um, in in worldly and material um, matters, but rather I'm really ambitious. Give me, I surrender myself to the universe. I surrender myself to God and please give me what I need to be able to serve you the best in the best way possible. And, um, you know, because I like to always think that we are just one organism here and we all are quite dependent and reliant on each other and we all exist for each other or to create the best the the best that we can for each other and so this card here is talking about giving that you know being giving humbling yourself offering yourself um to love and um and offering your deepest longings to love just being able to put all of this here um, in trust for God and trust for the higher forces that act for you and be able to uh, just be open to whatever that divine plan may be um, beyond what you can imagine, beyond what you can fantasize about, beyond what you can um, can even envisage for your lifetime and um, and just surrendering to that so I feel that this card is called ambition but it's actually very much about surrendering and I think in the work week number three you're going to be able to feel so uh, you're going to have an opportunity where you can feel so connected to the divine that you will be able to just surrender and just feel and step in line with doing uh, God's work and doing the work that we have to do as um, as companions to each other on this planet um, as comrades uh, for each other and I feel that the the week three for you is really opening this beautiful aspect of yourself where you are selfless and just uh, trusting in in the divine I think it's absolutely beautiful and in the fourth week of December we have the card love and it reads it's not about finding love you are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child. I always remember I myself am love. OK, so I think this card is more um, um, this is really in, in accordance with this divine love and this uh, divine trust and surrendering. Whereas this is a lot of lashings of pink here, which really talk about it, um, you know, being quite um um, I think quite floral in a sense, uh, just being able to uh, come back to love on a much more material plane and uh, looking about uh, looking at um, at loving yourself, you know, giving yourself lashings of love. Um, and here I talked about being able to do so in in a way to be able to look after yourself and look after perhaps emotional or mental health. But here it's more about about being able to indulge in that and um, to be able to to care for your for your it, it says here to for your inner child and to be able to offer that compassion and caring to yourself that you might have forgotten was offered to you as a child or might not have been offered to you as a child and uh, to remember that you are a vibration um, and that you can vibrate in love and that you are love itself if you allow yourself to be and so this is the way in which the fourth week of December um, is going to present itself with an opportunity to be able to do that and I feel that you can enter the new year with quite a lot of um, um, quite a lot of soft, very warm feelings of love in this world and what it means to be compassionate and caring and open hearted and and just uh, a complete embodiment of love. Having gone through um, this process of setting your intention and um, of cre looking after yourself, of surrendering 
and then just loving. And I feel it's such a beautiful reading for those of you who've chosen the option number two. And I feel that you're going to have a wonderful December. And even if you do find that you have some stress along the way, you are going to be able to um, come through it quite quite easily, I think, if you allow yourself to simply align yourself with the divine and um, just give yourself up to that, you know, just surrender to to what is there for you as opposed to fighting it like um like a bull in a china shop and so um yes i wish you a fabulous december as you go along may you find yourself in good health and uh, may you have find yourself quite happy and wishing you many many blessings for the month of december and blessings abound from kismet rising and for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we're using the Magical Unicorns Oracle Cards. And we're asking, what can we expect in the month of December 2022? And what can we prepare for? What do we need to know that will guide us in this month? Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we're asking what is it that we need to know for December 2022? And the first card that we have, um, which I attribute to the first week of December, is listen to your true feelings. And the caption reads, don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong. So for some of you, you might have been feeling already uh, quite a stubbornness inside of you recently where you felt like I need to be clear about who I am and what I am and if you haven't already then this card is talking to you about um, about starting that up about stirring that in you and I, I feel like you need to be quite clear about what it is that you want and to be able to stand up for yourself and say no at certain at a certain moment because if you don't what might happen is that you you might feel like you've betrayed yourself. You might feel like you've uh, let yourself down. And um, sometimes it doesn't mean that you need to change anything. Okay, you could, it's just about acknowledging your feelings, just about being honest with yourself about what it is that you feel about what it is that you stand for. And, um, and, you know, you don't necessarily have to even share that with anyone, you could just keep that to yourself and be true to yourself regardless of what actions you might have to um, you might have to take um, with regard to others you know sometimes I'm not saying it's about wearing a mask or you know putting on a particular face for someone else but rather about being really true to yourself about what you feel so that you can better navigate and better manage situations in which you might find yourself feeling not as um, endearing towards people or towards a particular task that you might have to undertake and um yes and i i feel that this is something that is going to come up for you in the month of december you know um it's very easy to live your life giving up yourself in order to fulfill vows that you've taken or fulfill obligations that you might have towards family um and I feel like people don't really realize that they do this. And perhaps people feel that they're being noble because they're doing this. And um, But in fact, they are throwing themselves under the bus in the process. And um, there is um, a karmic settling for that. You know, there's a karmic settling for every action um, as is Newton's third law. 
And um, so, yes, I feel like just listening to your feelings for um, the first week is going to be an important part of coming to a truth in yourself to be able to be clear with yourself about what it is that you feel. And as you delve into that, you might find that what you thought you believed or, um, you know, a sense of irritation or frustration or anger might come from a particular place, which is actually just a sadness that you might have in you that needs to be uh, shifted or needs to be uh, worked with or, or just, you know, taken out and reviewed. Uh, and so I think that you have an opportunity to do that in this first week of December. Now, I feel that in the second week of December, well, it's very clear here, uh, it, the card is thankful and it says, uh, think about the people and things that you feel grateful for. And I feel that in the second week of December, there's going to be such a strong feeling of gratitude for something that you might have lost or someone that you might have lost or something that you are you're happy about perhaps somebody has recovered perhaps you've recovered something that you've lost that has a great value to you um, perhaps you have been in a situation where you've been endangered but you've found yourself safe again and secure and um, this is um, something that you you feel an overflowing feeling of gratitude for I feel however that uh, for you for those of you who've chosen this option you're not you're week one and two are kind of um, linked in a way. So you might start feeling quite thankful in the first week and you might find that you need to listen to your true feelings also in the second week. So just be uh, aware of that. Um, I feel here that just the simple pleasures in life, just those quiet moments of being with your loved ones or with yourself, is going to have so much more resonance and so much more power in this week and the second week that you're going to find um, that you draw quite a lot of peace um, and serenity, and harmony from that. As we go on to the third week, there's this card laughter and it says simply you need a good laugh. And uh, so the third week is a, a week where I feel like you need to just stop everything else and just concentrate on uh, giving yourself that lighthearted feeling and inviting laughter into your life, inviting joy, inviting opportunities for lightness of being and to be able to just simply don't not overthink things um, or not be too heavy or in too intense, but just to simply enjoy. All right. And I feel also that um, there is this opportunity, there is this chance to be able to do that. And um, it might be surprising for you on some level. It might be and for some of you that you might think that you aren't going to be spending your, your holidays um, with your family, but then you do. And um, it might be that um, it's actually really wonderful. Or perhaps you found yourself spending your holidays with um, someone or some people that you haven't seen in a long time and you find that your experience with these people are very, very pleasant. Um, or perhaps you just simply find yourself invited somewhere where um, you can just simply sit back and enjoy. And I think that um, this opportunity for laughter, this opportunity to enjoy is something that you just need to um, give yourself the opportunity to have um, and not to, you know, turn down invitations that could be a signal for that, uh, but rather to take them up and go ahead with that and not to um, not to box yourself in in a way. OK, and you can I feel like what I'm hearing here for your week number three in December is that you can just let go of this year. You can just let go of everything that this year has offered you and um, let it be. It Just let it all be in its place in this year um, and just let these days uh, in your third week be that of laughter and joy and happiness, okay? And so, and for the option number four, um, it, the card is um, true. Yes, what you're asking about is the truth. 
And so it's like they, you are confronted with something in your week number four. Perhaps it's a decision that you make that you need to make, or perhaps it is something that you're unclear about. Perhaps you've been um, um, concentrated on something or obsessed with something, and you are unsure about what it is that this brings you. And um, the the, what they're saying here is that what you're asking about is the truth. Now, this could be, it could apply to so many things. It could mean that certain family secrets come to the fore in this fourth week of December. It could mean that you've been secretly um, entertaining the idea of going somewhere or moving to a different place. And, um, and you aren't sure if that is really where you need to be. And the answer here is, well, it's true. That is where you need to be. It could also be that you need to set um, um, into Gallup the the following year, the next year of your life, and um, and you need to start off um, on a high note. And that's what this card is about. It could be about you know just really um, giving it your all, basically for the months ahead and I feel that as you go into the new year it's quite a crystal space that you're in it's quite a clear starry crystal space and I feel this is a beautiful card to lead you into the new year um, and to to bring you out of 2022. I feel there's more meanings to this card but most of the meanings that come to me right now is that there's this crystalline way ahead of you and I feel like you need to um, set yourself on your path to be able to go ahead and do what you need to do and take this crystalline energy with you uh, it's almost like you've been endowed with a with a, a divine power that you can take off with and spread this all around and um, and you're quite sure about it it is the truth it is what is supposed to be um yes this is an interesting card to come up at a time where there's so much of falsity um around us so i think that um uh, whatever comes true for you at the end of this month as we go into the next month and the next year i feel is going to be quite um quite poignant for you and quite important for you as well all right so i'm going to leave it there i hope that that's been um, a useful reading for you and that you gained something from this and i want to wish all of you who are celebrating holidays um, a wonderful time a wonderful festive period may you all have um, much happiness may you enjoy good health and may you enjoy many many blessings and blessings abound from kismet rising